Nacida en las olas 
Welcome to the CHWC Front Porch Party for Front Porches. My name is Sandra Olivas and I'm a business development officer with Bank of Labor's commercial lending team. And I am honored to serve with my dear friend, Susan Carroll, as the co-chairs of the first ever virtual fundraiser for CHWC. Obviously, we are disappointed that because of the pandemic, we can't be with you in person tonight, but we are so thankful that you have taken the time to join our party from wherever you are during these challenging times. We are gonna make the most of these circumstances, raise a little money and celebrate our important sponsors and amazing honorees. But before we get started, I wanna give a huge shout out to Pablo Sanusa and the Kansas City Latin Jazz All-Stars for being a part of our event this evening. We have a lot more exciting things to share with you this evening and you definitely want to stay tuned. We have a couple of ways that you can give. There is a donate button on your screen right now. And while admission to tonight's event was pay what you can, we really encourage everyone to give from their hearts during the event. You can also purchase raffle tickets throughout the program. We have a lot of great items, including something very special to celebrate our Super Bowl champs, the Kansas City Chiefs. And here to tell us about these fabulous items is our fabulous raffle chair, Rose Shaw. Rose, take it away. Thanks, Sandra. I'm so excited to talk to you about some of the cool items we have for the raffle. Let's start with this beautiful large piece of original artwork created by Anthony Oropesa commemorating our Chiefs Super Bowl win. You'll want to add this to your collection, especially since we're going to win the Super Bowl again. Let's walk over here to the local basket, I like to call it. We have a straight out of the dot t-shirt, a Kansas City, Kansas tea towel, a Royals cap, a Chiefs cap, slaps barbecue sauce, and a couple of gift cards from our local favorites, Kansas City Cupcake Company and the Split Log Coffee Company. Now we have this really beautiful fall basket that has a basket included and a beautiful harvest blessings plaque, a beautiful blanket, a lantern, a wine bottle, some wine glasses, a candle, and some napkins. Now who's ready for a party? We have this beautiful tour of Latin America liquor collection. We have some tequila, we have some añejo, we have some rum, we have some fancy brandy, and of course some sweet and sour mix to complete the party. Look at these gorgeous pillows, you guys. These are designer pillows created by my high school friend, Liliana Balliette. You'll want these for your home, guys. These are gorgeous. Come over here and look at this beautiful coach purse. Black leather, classic, silver little details. You can wear it over your shoulder. You can wear it all over your wrist. It'll complete any collection. You'll want this puppy. We started with the Chiefs. We're going to end with the Chiefs. Remember this day, guys. Remember there was no social distancing happening this day. What a great memory. You'll want this for your office or your rec room or anywhere. Okay guys, this is just a few of the cool items we have. You'll want to get on the website and check out what we have. That collection changes every day. What a great cause, you guys. CHWC, grab your raffle items. Okay, Sandra, back to you. Thank you, Rose. I know many of you are going to be buying up several raffle tickets to take home the Mahomes print, which was created by local artist Anthony Orpeza. Thank you, Anthony. Now, I love the Chiefs, just like I love KCK, where I grew up. I'm an original dot, and I believe in CHWC's mission of helping families achieve their dream of owning their own home. I will never forget how much it meant to my parents who came to America from Mexico in 1973 with nothing and saved up enough money to buy our family home in KCK. Now, more than ever, I think that we all realize how important it is to have a safe place to call home where we can be together with our families as we strive to stay safe from this virus. Last year, more than 300 people were served by CHWC's Home Buyer Education Program and Credit Counseling Service. We are proud to say that more than 60 of those families bought their first home thanks to CHWC. This year, even in the midst of a pandemic, we hope to have 100 new homeowners. And I know if we were together in person, you would probably be giving that a big round of applause. So go ahead and give us that applause. Your support of CHWC is changing lives, one family at a time. I wanna share with you my favorite quote, which is, helping one person may not change the whole world, but it can change the whole world for one person. 
I lived in an apartment for two years and I lived on the third floor. So it was kind of getting old <laughs> walking up and down the stairs. So I was like, well, what? I think I'm gonna just purchase my own house because I couldn't have friends and family over, too much noise. So that's when I was like, I think I'm gonna purchase my own house. Make all the noise I want. <laughs> and I get to have a dog because in my apartment I couldn't have a puppy. So now I have one. <laughs> so I wanted to stay here because everything that I grew up is here. Like the Hispanic food, my church, where I work. So everything is, my whole life is in County. So that's why I wanted to buy a house here close to home. So this is where I feel home. I was the oldest of six kids. I even had to raise three of my sisters, and it was hard. And I used to always wish that I could be able to own my own home. It was time that I came home and cried and told my kids when they got home from school, get in the car, I got something to show y'all. I said, we gonna have a good Christmas. I got the beautiful house on the corner. I wanna live here, and if I'm able, I like to pass it down. I'm in a good neighborhood. I've got my old house, and I love it. We want to recognize our generous sponsors for doing their part to change the world for our CHWC families. A big shout out to our rooftop sponsors, Bank of Labor, Enterprise Bank and Trust, Country Club Bank, and Lisk of Greater Kansas City. And now, please enjoy this message from Enterprise Bank and Trust. I am so excited here to be able to represent our bank, Enterprise Bank and Trust. Together with CHWC, we are helping the community to be able to grow and guide our customers to a lifetime of financial success. We love our community and we want it to grow and flourish with all these beautiful houses and the playground and so many other things that I'm sure CHWC and Enterprise Bank are working together to be able to grow our community in Kansas City. So welcome, I'm excited. So thank you so much for joining us. It is a pleasure for us to be a partner with CHWC. And now a message from one of our rooftop sponsors, our friends at Bank of Labor. Here is my colleague, Mary Boucher. Thanks, Sandra. Bank of Labor is proud to be a sponsor of the Front Porch Party for Community Housing of Wyandotte County. Since we've opened our doors in 1924, we have been committed to serving the financial needs of working people and businesses. We support CHWC's important mission. Thank you for helping families achieve their dreams of home ownership in Blind Dog County. Hi, this is Joanne Stahl, Chief Compliance Officer at VOK Financial. Thank you, Community Housing of Wyandotte County, for making homeownership a reality for more families in our community. All of us at VOK Financial are proud to support your important work. It is now my pleasure to introduce my dear friend, Brennan Crawford, CHWC's Executive Director. Thank you, Sandra. Welcome to our front porch party. Thank you all for sharing your time with us tonight. We're gathered virtually tonight to celebrate and support CHWC's mission to stabilize, revitalize, and reinvest in Kansas City, Kansas neighborhoods. It takes so many good people to put that mission into action, and I'd like to start by recognizing some of those people. First, we recognize the core group of committed volunteers who serve as CHWC's board of directors. These people commit countless hours to supporting CHWC's work. And then there are CHWC's working committee members, advisory council, and corporate members, all of whom play a vital role in guiding our work. Volunteers support our work in countless other ways, including making this event possible. Our work also depends on strong partnerships, and I'd like to recognize two of the most enduring. First, all of our friends at NeighborWorks America. NeighborWorks has provided top-notch training and operating support to CHWC for nearly 20 years. I'd also like to recognize the unified government staff who are here tonight. We depend on each other every day. Finally, I want to recognize CHWC's dedicated staff who come to work every day to help make KCK neighborhoods better. Some of you have known CHWC's work for decades, and some of you may just be learning about our mission tonight. To get everyone on the same page, I'll give you a very quick history. 
In 2002, Catholic Housing, Wyandotte County, and Neighborhood Housing Services of Kansas City, Kansas, saw that each organization was working toward a common goal to build strong KCK neighborhoods. Realizing that they could achieve more together, they joined forces and created Community Housing of Wyandotte County. Since then, CHWC has built, renovated, or repaired well over 500 homes in our community. Over 2,500 families have come through our door for homeownership and counseling services, and more than 400 of those families have become homeowners because of the work that the people at this party support. But over those 20 years of building homes and helping families become homeowners, we learned that rooftops alone are not enough to rebuild our neighborhoods. People need places to play and learn and eat together. So CHWC invested in places for neighbors to gather. We helped rebuild Waterway Park, created Split Log Farm, Epic Arts, and even opened the first coffee shop downtown in years. We're committed to Kansas City, Kansas because we know it's worth. We know the diversity and resilience of the people who call it home. In years past, even as Kansas City, Kansas suffered decades of disinvestment that left our community with thousands of vacant lots and buildings, thousands of families stayed, relentlessly maintaining and improving their neighborhoods, their churches, their businesses, and their schools. And thousands more have come here from all over the world. KCK has become a refuge and a new start for families from Burma and Nepal, Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, from Somalia and Congo. People are even coming here from Johnson County in Kansas City, Missouri. During this unprecedented time of crisis in our country, our work is needed more than ever. Because of the hard work and support from many of the people of this party and many more who aren't with us tonight, even in the midst of a pandemic, 2020 has been one of the most impactful years in CHWC's history. We've built and renovated more homes, counseled more families, made more partnerships, and made a larger investment in KCK neighborhoods than ever before. We built and sold 16 brand new homes in our core neighborhoods this year and are proud to be building the first high quality apartments and townhomes in the historic Douglas Sumner neighborhood in over half a century in partnership with Prairie Fire Development. This project will provide beautiful new homes for 50 families of all different incomes. With your help, we've been able to support COVID impacted families who depend on CHWC for housing every day with much needed rent, utility and mortgage assistance. Our housing counselors have provided eviction and foreclosure prevention services, ensuring families are able to stay in their homes. Finally, we provided fresh food to families whose children typically depend on schools for healthy lunches and breakfast through our Split Log Farm program. As we endure these challenging times together, we're reminded that nothing is more important than home. We're so thankful to everyone here tonight for being a part of our ongoing efforts to create and sustain opportunities for families to build a home in a thriving KCK. We know that a thriving city depends on strong leadership from every level of local government. I can think of no one who better demonstrates that leadership for our community than Mayor David Alvey, who would like to say a few words. Mayor Alvey. Greetings and salutations. Thank you, Brendan, for your remarks. It is a distinct pleasure to welcome you to this important event. As Brendan described, the mission of CHWC is to develop and sustain quality housing. But beyond rehabbing and building houses, CHWC enables families to build financial wealth. And as we build the financial wealth, the financial health of our residents, we build strong neighborhoods and a strong city. On behalf of the residents of Kansas City, Kansas, I offer our gratitude and our support for all that you and your board, your staff, and your families have accomplished over the years. And I encourage everyone attending today to please be generous. Whatever you give, whatever you offer, please be confident that CHWC and their families will bless your offering and multiply that gift many times over. And let me get it started by offering my own donation of $250. Thank you for all you do. Congratulations on success and may we have 20 years more of the same. Thank you so much, Mayor Alvey, and thank you, Brennan. Now it's my pleasure to introduce to you someone who has been CHWC's most dedicated supporter over the years. She never says no when she's asked to help out. And let me tell you, when she calls you to ask for your support for CHWC, it's impossible to turn her down because you know that she is all in when it comes to believing in this important mission. Here is my dear friend, Susan Carroll. Thank you, Sandra. I'm grateful to be here this evening to tell you I am living the dream. The dream, the vision, 
and living mission of Father Tom and community housing of Wyandotte County. I have lived in Kansas City, Kansas my entire long life. I was raised and educated here, raised and educated my four children in Kansas City, Kansas. I have been a part of the CHWC family for almost 20 years. I am deeply grateful to be associated with this organization that serves and I think saved my community. I am humbled to stand in the circle with the founding fathers, the board of directors, and the staff of CHWC. I bear witness every day to the fruits of this amazing organization. It takes a village, so they say. I hope tonight you will have experienced our passion and our move to join us, either with your time as a volunteer, your talents, and of course, we need your financial assistance. Every not-for-profit organization has identified a human need, right? It starts with the need and a person or people with the heart and the eyes of a vision to address that need. Some 20 years ago, the pastor of an urban core parish had the heart and the eyes of vision to see the decay and the deterioration of not only the structures of the urban core of Kansas City, Kansas, but the hopelessness of the people he served. Monsignor Tom Tank is not a man who sees a need and walks away. He circled the wagons, so to speak. He gathered a few good people who had the same heart for this community, and together they came up with the solution. Their vision of restoring hope and vitality was a mission of rebuilding and restoring this city. One neighborhood, one home, one family at a time. Fast forward some 20 years. Community housing of Wyandotte County is the wagon, the not-for-profit organization still addressing the need. Hundreds of homes have been restored or built. Families thrive in beautiful, safe neighborhoods held together by a revived spirit. Thousands of good and competent people have joined in the efforts of CHWC to continue the legacy of Father Tom. It is my extreme pleasure to introduce with gratitude my co-worker for over 30 years at the Archdiocese of Kansas City in Kansas, where he served as Chancellor and Vicar General, my pastor those 20 years ago, and still my friend, a true visionary, Monsignor Tom Tank. Thank you very much, Susan. It's such a wonderful personal privilege and honor for me to be able to join with you this evening at this annual event for CHWC. I know for all of us, and maybe in a special way for me, CHWC is so close to our hearts because it's been such an important element in the continuing development of affordable housing and good, strong neighborhoods and communities within Eastern Wyandotte County. And what a tremendous gift CHWC has been to our community. I've been honored every year to be able to make the presentations of the Continuing the Legacy Award. This award was started about eight years ago just as a way of showing appreciation for individuals who maybe not made just a special com contribution, but have really in some way impacted the life of CHWC in a special way. But I know for every one of the honorees, it is not a question of anything personal here. It's rather being able to collaborate with a wonderful staff, with a wonderful group of board members, with so many volunteers throughout the community, that that's really been what has been most valuable and every one of the honorees would say that they don't accept it for themselves, but rather for all of those with whom they have served in this important work and service. At this time, it's my honor to introduce our honorees for this evening. These honorees, all three of them, have served so generously with CHWC in so many different roles. And each one of them had made a nine-year commitment to serve on the board and even to continue on 
in their service to CHWC. It's my privilege to present Joanne Huey. Joanne served on the CHWC board from 2005 until 2016, serving as board president during a very critical time of leadership transition for the CHWC in 2016. Joanne also served as vice chair of the board for in 2015 and chair of the CHWC's Project Development Committee and Governance. Joanne is a resident of the CHWC community, not only serving on the board, but living in the community of Cathedral of St. Peter for over 30 years. And she's made a tremendous contribution to the continuing development of her neighborhood and of all the work of CHWC. I am humbled to be receiving the Center Circle Award and honored to celebrate with Tim and Maria, who I had the privilege of serving on the board. Congratulations, Tim and Maria. CHWC was shaped by Monsignor Tom Tank, who recognized the need for affordable housing in the urban core. He had the foresight to call on leaders within Wyandotte County to address not only the housing concerns, but also blight. Monsignor's vision led to CHWC's mission, stabilize, revitalize, and reinvest in Kansas City, Kansas. I had a front row seat to that revitalization and reinvestment in my neighborhood of St. Peter's. The transformation of Waterway Park and touring the new homes across from the park motivated my involvement. I was witnessing a new level of community development. I want to express my appreciation to Monsignor Tank and the founding members of CHWC for their commitment to Kansas City, Kansas. Leaning in on his faith led to action. We would not be here today without Monsignor Tank. Thank you. To Joe Reardon, Bill Miller, and Tom Bickamer, who stepped up when called upon. It's hard to say no to Monsignor Tank. And to Greg Gaffney, Jim Owens, Susan Carroll, Jeff Lipp, and Cecilia Wisniewski, whose leadership, wisdom, and support was always present. I never expected to serve on the board for 10 years, much less serve as chair. Thank you for being mentors and friends. And a special shout out to my classmate, Rose Shaw. The staff of CHWC are truly special individuals. Thank you for all your contributions and dedication. A special note of thanks to Brennan, Sarah Fitz, Natalie Bowles, Charlie Patterson, Lynn Serrano, and former staff members, Donnie Smith, Mary Spangler, Steve Curtis, it was such a pleasure to be a part of the team. And finally, to my children, Christopher, Elizabeth, and Andrew. Watching you grow up in a vibrant community was a gift. Do not ever take that for granted. You are my world and I love you. And again, thank you. I am truly touched by this honor. And congratulations on again on this recognition. Our next honoree is Tim Oreck. Tim served on the board of directors from 2010 until 2019, and he currently continues to serve as the chair of the CHWC's Asset Management Committee and as a member of the CHWC's Governance Committee. Tim also uh, helped connect CHWC to the Dunn Family Foundation, successfully advocating for much needed support for CHWC's headquarter renovation and the construction of new homes in the St. Benedict's neighborhood. And those homes serve so many people today. And so it's with pleasure that I present Tim Oreck. Well, I wanna thank the entire CHWC family for um, recognizing me. It's very humbling, um, particularly when I know the history of the organization and having seen the passion of um, many, many people that make CHWC what it is. I first became involved in CHWC acquiring uh, property for what later became the St. Peter's Waterway Redevelopment Area. And I saw the great work that CHWC was doing. And then when I was nominated to the board, um, I saw it as an opportunity not just to um, help uh, the community, but also to work with people that were equally or more passionate about CHWC's work and mission than I am. Um, but again, it's been an honor and a privilege to serve on the CHWC board and would 
highly recommend that anyone that's got any spare time um, look at this organization as a place to invest your time, talent, resources, whatever you may have to offer. Thank you. Thanks so much and congratulations to you. Our final honoree is Maria Porta. Maria served on the board of directors from 2010 till 2019 and continues her service as the chair of the Home Ownership Committee formed in 2018. Maria has contributed countless hours volunteering with CHWC's Home Ownership Program, supporting and advising CHWC Home Ownership staff and helping families directly to get their first mortgage. Maria continues to be a, such a loving support and assistance to families. She's a per, truly a hands-on person who has assisted so many families through their CHWC involvement. Maria continues the long legacy of support and part partnership between Capital Federal, Savings Bank, and CHWC. And that has been such an important connection over the years and so supportive to so many people. Now let's hear from Maria. Thank you so much for this recognition. I am very humbled. I accept on behalf of Capital Federal because of all the help provided to me and to CSWC throughout the years. I first became familiar with the amazing work that CSWC have done in Wyanda County many years ago when I started at Capital Federal. Um, I was then given the opportunity to join the board, which allowed me to see the ins and outs of how everything works. From the very beginning, I was very impressed and inspired by the commitment and dedication of the board and every member of the staff. Because of the, my working community development, I am lucky to witness firsthand how much CSWC has helped families with the purchase of their home, from providing education to every tool to help them to become a successful homeowner. I have seen also how they have transformed neighborhoods where they are places now where people want to live and raise their families. I am extremely proud to be part of the OCSWC family and I invite you to continue your support to this great organization in every way you can. Thank you so much. I want to say a big congratulations to each of these amazing honorees. Joanne, Tim, Maria, you are bright lights in our community. And now we want to share a special video highlighting the impact that CHWC is having in our neighborhoods. And here is Brennan to tell us a little bit more about the video. Father Tom famously used to introduce people to CHWC's work by asking them to come take a ride with him. He would pile people in his car and would drive them around to the neighborhoods that we serve. During this time when we can't be together in person, we're finding new ways to bring CHWC and Wyandotte County to you wherever you are. In that spirit, I want to give you a glimpse of a video that we're working on, designed to bring the beauty and diversity of the Kansas City, Kansas neighborhoods to you. So come take a ride, virtually.
on behalf of Brennan, Susan, and myself and our entire CHWC team, we hope that you enjoyed tonight's celebration and we want to thank you. We will announce our raffle winners on social media on Monday. So please follow us on Facebook at CHWC KCK. Even though there is a physical distance between us, we know that you stand united with us to support CHWC and its important mission to serve the community. Last year at the rooftop party, you might remember, we ended the night with a bang. Literally, the sky lit up with fireworks over the speedway. So tonight, we're bringing the fireworks to you. So please stay logged on, continue to chat and engage with each other, and enjoy the wonderful music from Pablo and the Kansas City Latin Jazz All-Stars. Thank you again, and have a good night. <laughs>
pa'l monte, pa'l monte pa' guarachar. Vámonos pa'l monte, el monte
está el cielo en el mundo por hondo que esté el mar profundo no habrá una barrera en el mundo que tu amor profundo no pueda romper amor es el pan de la vida amor es la justa medida amor es ese algo sin nombre que obsesiona a un hombre con una mujer. Yo estoy obsesionado contigo y el mundo es testigo de mi frenesí. Cuando más se oponga el destino, serás para mí, solo para mí. Por alto está el cielo en el mundo, por hondo que esté el mar profundo No habrá una barrera en el mundo Que mi amor profundo no rompa por ti
Thank you for supporting CHWC Rooftop Party for Rooftops. We are Los Subtropicales from Kansas City. Muchas gracias. Nos vemos.